Okay, students, uh, here we go with the first video in which um, uh, I will just discuss a little bit of architecture of 8 node 86. Um, the first look should be of the registers of 8 node 86 because uh, the CPU, the microprocessor, is everything um, in the programming of assembly language. So if you look at this uh, video, um, actually this picture, this is the registers what we are having uh, with the 8086. On the top, you could see we have registers like AHAL. This is actually a 16 bit long register called AX, which can be used as a 8 bit lower half and the 8 bit upper half. Um, so we call it as a AL and AH. It's actually what we call as the accumulator. And in addition to the accumulator, we have three more 16-bit registers. That means two bytes. But they can be used as a um, byte register or as a word register, meaning it can act as a DX, for example, or it can uh, DX as a word that means 16 bits or as a two um, bytes one is the lower one one is the upper one so we have four here uh, registers 16 bits long ax bx cx and dx and then <clears throat> these are actually the general purpose registers that means we can use them for uh, many many things um, but this AX uh, is a special one in it, in it because uh, this accumulator is used um, not, not only for the general purposes but sometimes uh, as a special purposes. For example, if you want to do multiplication or divisions, at that time we uh, have an, a one operand uh, in the AX. It always, the multiplication always works on the AX. So we need to keep um, our uh, one operand which we want to divide and multiply in the AX. Then on the lower half we have got the, as you could see, it's, these are all 16 bits long and as you can see here we are written 16 bits. So it is the SI, source index, destination index, then we have base pointer, stake pointer and IP is an instruction pointer. They basically are used to store addresses. They can act as a pointers. Maybe you want to uh, work with arrays in your program. At that time, you load the offsets or the addresses of the uh, bytes or memory locations where you want to put your data or whatever into the source index or destination index. Or we have the base pointers and stack pointers. The stack pointer, which you could see, is used to store the top of the stack and instruction pointer IP um, also is used to store actually the addresses uh, it, 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 it uh, works actually with the code segment it uh, usually stores the offset of the code segment which I will just uh, tell you shortly here and the downside you could see we have four uh, segment registers here core segment data segment stack segment and extra segment these segment registers hold the address uh, of the segments because in 8086 the memory is segmentized that means we, we have a four uh, in the memory we have four segments one is for the code one is for data one is for stack one is for extra Actually, we have partitioned our memory into the four areas to store either their code, either the data, or, uh, or for the stack, or extra means we would use for some other purposes. Data means where we actually uh, put in our variables or whatever. We want to create arrays, what we, do, what we do in other languages. We want to create some variables, we'll put them in the data segment. Or some messages to be printed are place in data segment and core segment is where you, you actually write your code 
and the stack segment is why don't you put your stack and stack is very important if it's a function call or whatever you have to use stack I want to preserve your uh, registers uh, any any time you want to preserve your registers because you're going to update them but you want your previous values in the register so you better uh, reserve your uh, preserve or your uh, registers on the stack then there is extra segment is used for many other purposes this is that at the discretion of the programmer to use the extra segment so we have also the flag the 16 uh, one one bit flag this is in total was 16 flag register it's a flag register we have many flag registers like zero flag carry flag they are set or reset actually one or zero they are actually used to chuck now for example you divide a number and if the coefficient comes to be zero zero flag is set or similarly if you add two numbers and the carry is generated and that carry flag is set so the these are used then for our decision purposes for example uh, we want to go to some other part of a program and we will check if the carry flag is set or not so it's like that and then we have the ALU and control unit here which will work together actually uh, this is uh, not the complete picture of the 8086 a microprocessor this is only just the register shown in fact these here these AX general purpose registers for um, are uh, are placed in a one side called bus interface unit if you open up a book maybe and you will look it will they will be in a bus interface unit and on the side it will have some prefetch queue the registers which are actually used um, to prefetch the instructions that means instructions are going to be executed or actually queued uh, on the uh, in the in the six register so that uh, the microprocessor works on them and because microprocessor has to this ALU for example you see here has to work on the instructions and those instructions are actually prefetched and uh, put in the queue and at this control unit actually generate signals from those instructions and give it to the ALU later on for the execution so this is the basic um, uh, register structure which I actually need uh, in our assembly language because most of the time I'm gonna use these uh, general purpose registers or source indexes or destination indexes uh, to store our addresses here and we could use to store some data variables here and then later on do some operations on these things for example we want to add two numbers but well, I may, maybe I put one number in the AX the second number in the BX then I'm gonna add them say add AX comma BX uh, write the mnemonics like that that will add me AX and BX and store the result in the AX so I could sometimes use only eight uh, bits that means only AL and sometimes I gotta use it a whole like uh, AX that is two bytes a word or 16 bits so that's all for now watch the next to keep pumping thank you